Good afternoon. Welcome to the webinar titled, Is That a Multi-Parameter Monitor in Your Pocket? We appreciate you taking the time out of your day to allow us into your facilities and your clinics to discuss pocket size monitors and a bit about the sometimes under-monitored areas of the clinic. Today we'll discuss some of those under-monitored areas. However, we can only scratch the surface of our belief in monitoring every patient every time. So a bit on Centier and the Vet Quarter. Centier was formed with veterinarians, entrepreneurs, and engineers as they'd seen a real need in clinics for something that could withstand a busy day in clinic, in the field, as well as be able to go places that it is that a big monitor fit or tip typically wouldn't be taken. The Vet Quarter Classic was welcomed in 2015. A multi-parameter monitor comprised of ECG, SpO2, and surface temperature. Today, there are thousands of use uh, on thousands of uses and thousands of these vet quarters, quarters out there on all seven continents. In 2019, the vet quarter had a bit of a rede redesign to welcome the internal temperature to the unit as well, and we welcome the vet quarter pro. With its interchangeable sensors to the Vet Quarter Classic, Centier continues to provide options to those under-monitored areas in clinics and facilities. The Vet Quarter monitors are just one small piece of MAI animal health. Dr. Mark Anderson, being one of the initial veterinarians behind the Vet Quarter, remains steadfast in his commitment to the animal health industry. Many years ago, practicing as a large animal veterinarian, he had difficulty finding the tools that he needed, so he decided to manufacture them. Today, MAI, MAI Animal Health is a one-stop shop, as well as a valuable source of knowledge to clinics and facilities in the U.S. and internationally, with over 3,000 products and over 40 years behind them. They've got your back. Now, many times you may need to transport a patient either to CT or to another department within the facility. Maybe the animal needs to go to cardiology for a consultation and it may not be in the same room or they need to go down to the hallway or another building. Pocket size monitors really are easily transported with your patient on a gurney or in your pocket so that you can move easily throughout the facility depending on where you're going. Normally the large monitors are tied up during surgery so with, with the advent of the Vet Quarter Pro the monitor is a quick and easy transport regardless of where you're going in the facility. Now sometimes a patient needs to go to CT or x-ray or maybe even MRI. Please keep in mind that our monitors are not MRI compatible. However, you can use them up until that point, check your patient, and then reattach it once you are out of the MRI room. Now, um, Diana has a favorite patient that she wants to talk about with dealing with transport. <laughs> I do indeed. We had uh, a wonderful video to show you guys uh, for such a small monitor, a mighty job, and this is a perfect case of transport, especially when some of the equipment is not readily in your office. Sometimes a lot of these equipment uh, are actually in a parking lot. So without further ado, I'm going to show you one of my favorite transport patients. This little guy's name is Hudson. He is a star at the Brookfield Zoo in Chicago. His caregivers in this video are going to put him through a CT scan. As we can see here, he's anesthetized, thank heavens. This is actually a perfect depiction of some of the things talked about today during our webinar, including heart rate and transport. What a transport this is. The normal heart rate on a polar bear is 46 beats per minute, and we've got that covered. When talking pocket size monitors, they may be small in nature, but often they have a mighty task. While I'm sure Hudson woke up a bit hangry, we're honored that our little monitor helped these rock stars with the safety of his procedure. Diana, 
Are there any monitors that you recommend for an emergency cart? Absolutely. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about another under-monitored area in the clinic is the emergency cart, or some will affectionately call it the crash cart. Uh, a lot of times this emergency cart is sitting in a corner of a clinic and it doesn't get much attention. It is somebody's job to make sure that this is stocked with tubing, with masks, with drugs, with cheat sheets. Uh, it's also somebody's job to make sure that fluids are warmed. When we have this emergency come in or somebody has trouble or exhibiting that trouble, we want to make sure that this cart is ready. Have you ever thought of a pocket-sized monitor in an emergency cart that could be on a standby situation for up to three months? In this video that we're about to show you now, we actually have an ambulance service. This is the first emergency specialty clinic in Cincinnati over 20 years ago and they now have two ambulances that they actually work with the animals to transport them and pick them up. In both of these ambulances, they house a vet quarter for emergency use. So a lot of times we think about these carts being in the clinic or being in the field or being in a zoological situation may not have these uh, monitors inside of them or you think about a laboratory situation. So many uses for this pocket size monitor, especially in an emergency cart situation. So with that said, um, I am now going to kick it back over to Becky, and Becky's going to tell us another somewhat under-monitored area in a clinic, maybe recovery. Typically, the technician stays with the patient as they're waking up and they're coming out of surgery. So until that animal is fully awake, the technician wants to keep an eye on them to make sure that everything's going well. According to a recent study, more than half of all the deaths associated to veterinary surgery occurred within three hours of the patient recovering from anesthesia. When the animal's placed into the cage and the technician is preparing for their next patient, it's very simple to place that vet quarter pro under a blanket inside of the cage or a towel or what some clinics will do is put it in a little bin attached to the side of the cage door as well. And then what some clinics will do is they will mount a tablet to the outside of the cage. That way they can glance over and see what's going on with the animal as they're continuing to prep for their next surgery and go about their busy surgery schedule. Think of what you can do with 30 feet. You can move around to the wet prep station, get all kinds of items done, and still be keeping an eye with what's going on with your patient in the cage. So with the advent of the pocket size monitors, especially with the Bluetooth function, you can see what's going on with your patient as long as you're within 30 feet of your animal. So maybe you're going to the wet prep station, maybe you're starting to do your dental, but you can measure every patient every time and making sure that you have patient security going on into recovery. Now, depending upon the layout of your building, some doctors may need to step into the next room to check on another patient, make a phone call, or do some notes within the clinic system. What better way to keep an eye on your patient than to either have the tablet as you're walking into that next room or what some people will do is also put it on their phone. So the vet quarter is perfect for that. We're going to take a look at a bat and an orthopedic surgery that was done in Mexico, kind of going back to the vet quarter being in all places at all times. It was uh, fascinating for us to see that the vet quarter was used to monitor this bat while the doctor actually performed this orthopedic surgery on the wing. So many uses, uh, especially emergency situations, especially x-ray, uh, a lot of things that you can do with that multi-parameter monitor in your pocket. And next, I suppose,
suppose if you were going to ask me if there was one monitor I could have, one parameter I could have, what would that actually be? And I'd have to say it'd be end tidal CO2. And I know you're probably going to look at me and say, do you have one of those in your pocket too? Uh, indeed I do, and Becky's going to tell us all about our air maiden. Capnographs have become affordable and portable. These small, portable, end tidal CO2 units allow clinicians the ability to provide fast, convenient, and reliable end tidal CO2 monitoring. Many of these units are small and portable. Our VetQuarter AirMate is slightly larger than your iPhone, and its rechargeable battery will last for approximately 12 to 18 hours between charges. Many of the units are touchscreen and have an automatic rotation as well. When you're using a capnograph to monitor your patient, it will alert you immediately that there's a problem or something that's going on with your patient. Whereas with a pulse oximeter, there may be a little bit of a delay in letting you know that there's a problem, which it can be up to a couple of minutes. Monitoring end tidal CO2 has become the gold standard of care in veterinary medicine today. So with the advent of the VetQuarter AirMate, in addition to the VetQuarter Pro, you have that flexibility of having all of your monitors and parameters covered, but you also have the flexibility to use it on multiple patients. I'm actually going to show you uh, Brianna is an RVT from Roseville, California, and she's going to show us a video of why she can appreciate the pocket size monitors in her clinic. So we'll send you to Brianna. My name is Brianna Beta, and I'm an RVT at an exotic and small animal practice in Roseville, California. And I'm here today to kind of share with you some of the reasons why I like my monitoring equipment, specifically speaking on my vet quarter and my vet quarter airmate capnograph. Um, so number one reason I love these guys is for the fact that they add an additional level of safety to all of my anesthetic procedures. Um, that in and of itself is so incredibly important to me uh, when monitoring anesthesia and being able to have those values and be able to monitor a heart rate on anything from a tiny patient from 60 grams up to a 100 pound patient at the drop of a hat is so, so vital and so important and so necessary. And uh, being that they're portable makes that quick and easy and effective and efficient. And uh, that is truly why I love these little guys. Um, as I mentioned, I work with exotics. So oftentimes we're doing anesthesia on little birds, little reptiles, bunny rabbits. We do tons of bunnies here, lots of spays and neuters, um, sometimes mass removal things of that nature. And a lot of times uh, our Cardell machine, you know, the clamps are a little bit too traumatic to use on such del delicate skin on a tiny patient. And so having the vet quarter and the option to use the Zumaya needles really becomes important and crucial and uh, has become a go-to item here in our practice. Uh, these little Zumaya needles, I can take them, clip them onto my vet quarter and insert them subcutaneously into my patient. And then I instantly have monitoring information on my EKG, my pulse oximetry, my heart rate, and that is vital to me and crucial and so important. Um, and then this guy right here, my absolute number one favorite monitoring tool is the capnograph. So uh, we don't have a capnograph for our Cardell machine. It's an obsolete model. So when I was doing research on getting one for our practice, I came across this little guy and was able to get it approved for purchase. And once we got it, we put it to use right away. Uh, we do tons of bunny procedures here and we use the V-Gel Superglottic Airway devices. And with those guys, they can be a little bit tricky to place um, and know if you have correct placement. So having this guy hooking it up right away, I know instantly if I have a patent airway and that is incredibly important to me and vital. And uh, so having this little machine has given me the opportunity to know 100% without a doubt if I have a patent airway, I can know what's going on. I know if I have a mucus plug forming based on waveforms. I know if I'm 
you know, needing to do IPPB or whatnot because of the vital information this little machine gives me. And so it has become my go-to item. I love it. I cannot live without it. Uh, the fact that these are portable, you can grab them and then as quickly as you can grab them, you can hook them up to a variety of patients from 60, kilo, 60 grams up to a 100 pound patient. And uh, that's awesome. Um, so those are some of the reasons I love these little guys and I hope that you love them as much as I do too. Uh, thank you for letting us into your clinics, into your facilities, and just keep in mind a pocket-sized monitor can go a lot more places than sometimes we think it can. So back to you guys.